visit us, please. Teambadger.org. Teambadger.org. And please come and sign the website. Sign the petition on the government website. There's a button on the Team Badger, the Team Badger. Yes, well, I'm joined now by one of the leading activists against the Badger Pearl, Queen guitarist Brian May. Brian May, thank you very much for talking to us. Just tell us why you've got so actively involved in this campaign. It's just a question that uh, somebody has to speak up, really. Um, I've been on the case for about three years, I suppose, very really concerned about the way that we treat our wildlife in general. But the situation with badges is very serious at the moment because the government uh, are intent on slaughtering thousands of them um, in an attempt to control bovine TB in cows. Um, Shouldn't we be going ahead though with this trial cull just to see once and for all if badges are carriers? Do you know how many badges have died already in cows? Do you have any idea? Well, let me tell you something. You know, there's a thing called the ISG, the Independent Scientific Group, and over a period of 10 years, they killed almost 10,000 badgers. It was a completely impartial scientific experiment. Their conclusion was, at the end of it, that culling badgers can not meaningfully contribute to the control of bovine TB in cattle. That's very unequivocal, you know. Unfortunately, the government thinks it knows better, but it's been shown time and time again that culling does not help the situation. You could kill every single badger in Britain and you'd still have bovine TB in cows. It's called bovine TB. It's endemic in cows. Cows have given it to the badgers. Yes, the two populations interact, but basically you can take away the badgers and you still have your problem. What is the answer then? Because the vaccine is many years away. It's very costly, isn't it? That's not going to solve anything. Oh, you don't think vaccination works? Why do we vaccinate children then? <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's a no-brainer. I mean, would, would you say, you know, you'd rather kill wild animals than vaccinate your but child? But it hasn't been trialled, has it? The vaccination hasn't been trialled. Well, the first thing this government did when it came into office was close down loads of the vaccination trials, which is very sad, and it doesn't say much for their commitment to vaccination. Strangely enough, I just had a conversation with Three Way on TV with Peter Kendall, and even Peter Kendall, president of the NFU, agreed with me that in the end, vaccination is the only way to produce the herd immunity to... TV that we need, you know. Unfortunately, the cull, there's this business of like, we must do something, something has to be done because farmers are suffering. Yes, something has to be done. We all have to be both on TV, but this is not the way. And we're all hoping, because the, the reason we're here with this rally is that we hope to raise public awareness. Um, it's strange the opening ceremony sort of had a, a symbol of English farming and it had the Industrial Revolution. Well, I was a symbol of British wildlife, which I think is, is very neglected. Virginia McKenna actually was the founder of Born, Born Free. She said, you wore your heart on your sleeve there. And I said, that, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, Brian May, thank you very much. We must leave it there. Thank you for your time. Anymore. We have the RSPCA, League Against Cruel Sports, PETA, we have i we have Animal Aid, all these charities, Born Free, everybody is of the same opinion. This cannot be allowed to happen. We cannot sacrifice our wildlife in a vain attempt to, to solve a problem in farming, which should be solved by a word beginning with a V, which is vaccination. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're here to launch Team Badger, yes, Team I should Badger. be saying it. Team Badger. And Team Badger is about stop the cull. Teambadger.org. Please go to teambadger.org. Sign the petition, which is on the government's own website, so they have to pay attention. And uh, let's make people realise what we're feeling. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Thank you very much. If you can just start off by telling us why you're here today. We are here to launch Team Badger. Right? Oh, I'll talk into the furry animals. <laughs> this is all about furry animals. We're here to launch TeamBadger.com. Please go to TeamBadger.com and we'll see what it's all about contribution to the control of bovine TB in cattle. Now that's very unequivocal, there's no doubt about that. You know, all these badgers died to prove this. Culling has time and time again been shown not to work. Vaccination is the way. We have to vaccinate our badgers. Vaccinate our cows. And the government's saying that vaccination could take years though. Do we not need something more immediate? Yeah, you can spend years vaccinating and you'll get a result. You can spend years culling and you'll get no result. It may make things worse. This is very serious. In many cases, in fact all the cases that have been recorded, there has been a thing called a perturbation effect, which means that when badgers are, are killed, their whole family group is disturbed and they disperse. So if they are diseased, which they can be, they're spreading infection to other places. So if you are living in a farm 
next to a place which has a badger car, you're in big trouble because the badgers may escape and they will infect your, your cows. You know? So this is really an incredibly dangerous thing that the government's decided to do. It could easily make things worse. You're obviously very passionate about it. Why did you want to get involved in this cause? You know, it's a question of somebody has to do it. Um, there is really nobody in government who, who speaks for wildlife, which is scandalous. There's a minister of sport, there's a minister of hunting. There is no minister of wildlife, you know, so somebody has to stand up and speak. I'm very fortunate, I'm not alone now. You know, three years ago I felt like I was alone. But really the, the forces of animal charities have really rallied in the last few months. Particularly the RSPCA, who have done a wonderful job recently and who are pursuing the, the fox hunters at, at great speed. Um, Gavin Grant is an amazing new voice for animals. So I don't feel alone anymore. We have the RSPCA, we have i we have Born Free, we have PETA, we have I think probably 20 different animal charities who are all saying the same thing now, all saying we cannot allow this to happen. Annie, um, I did read something where you compared badgers to, to witches as scapegoats, essentially. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting thing, you know. It is a kind of scapegoat thing because the truth is, and if anybody reads the scientific papers, they have to admit it, the truth is that badgers are not the villains here, but they've been painted in this way. And yes, years ago, we used to burn witches at the state because we thought they were to blame for bad things happening. You know, we discovered, we, we became civilised and we realised that that, that that wasn't the way to go on, you know. We have to get to the point where we realise blaming wild animals for our problems is not the way to go. These animals are going to be shot at night by people with high-powered rifles, which can kill at more than a mile, humans as well as badgers. What an appalling situation to put ourselves in. You know, vaccinate, we have to go and vaccinate. One last question, sorry. Um, you did come in for some flack for wearing the patches at the Olympic closing ceremony. Can I just get your reaction to that? And I came in for it? some flack, which I suppose I would have expected from a few people in the farming community and a few people in the countryside <laughs> alliance. I, I came in for a lot of very, very good comments as well, because people said you stood up for what you believe in. What I believe in is that Animals have as much right to exist on this planet as we do, and we should be treasuring our wild animals. We just about. We're trying. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, the appeal of the appeal. Would you be able to do us another turn just to get okay. some reaction? They're desperate for some reaction. So the okay. camera is on its way. I'll just Jeff. give you a couple of minutes to absorb that. Do you know what the. Um, Grounds were no. I've literally just heard in the last minute that the the bid has failed. Do you want to get to get hold of Dave first and find out what's happened? Mm, yeah, okay. Well, you yeah, And your fellow campaigners believe that badgers have been unfairly persecuted for the spread of bovine TB. We've just heard now that the coal is going to go ahead. Your reaction to that? Well, what you've heard is that the judicial review failed. Um, it wasn't totally unexpected. You have to remember that judicial reviews do not review the, the scientific evidence. They do not review the ethical considerations. All they do is look at technicality. The, the, the issue was, you know, did the government break any procedural rules? So that's it was, it was kind of, it was a good thing to try, you know, but I'm not actually very much daunted by the fact that we failed. It's interesting that we also failed in, in Wales in the same way. We failed in the But what happened next was, when the Congress was about to go ahead, the government changed. I mean, there was an enormous public reaction to the fact that, uh, that uh, they were going to kill the land. And Ellen Jones was taken out of office, probably partly because of it. So um, things can change very fast. And um, David Cameron has already reshuffled his cabinet. We no longer have the farmer to replace him. We no longer have the farmer to come. We have a new team. And I think we're really hoping that David Cameron is looking at the possibility of a reorganization and delaying the, the coal technique while they look for the vaccination. There's lots more evidence. There's a very interesting piece of evidence just come up, which is that the dealer <laughs> test is about to be ready. And you think that the license to begin the DNA. The dealer test gives you a means of distinguishing between a vaccinated cow and a cow that has the disease. That's been the, the, the stumbling block. You know, that, that's been the reason we can't vaccinate cows. That's one of two reasons. The other reason is that Europe won't allow us to. Incredible. We are not allowed by the regulations of the EU to vaccinate our cows. Now, what's happened recently is I'm constantly in touch with farmers. I'm not going to this alone now. And what I would like to do is if this girl is this called Candy's Show, I myself am a volunteer to go in with the farmers into Europe. 
and work on them to try and get the permission to back some of So that's my offer, that's on the table. You know, I can open doors. I'm a rock star, you know. It's, it's an unorthodox kind of thing, but it works in Europe too. I can go on there and I can help. I believe that I could help them get this permission to vaccinate our children. That's the future. So trying to find the positive, but in the short term, it looks as though the call is now going to go ahead in a matter of days. So there are thousands of badges here in the West Country that are now going to be sorted. It looks bad. It's a very sad. I think it's a tragic. It goes ahead and it's an irreversible way you can never bring the badges back. And the badges, you could kill all of the badges in Britain, it would not stop, it would not take away the problem of holding the road, all the badges in Britain. So all I can say is be with us, support Team Badger, but we'll really call you try to get ready to be considered. And it's not as rough as a badge. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Such a good place to have a store. I can't see it. Everybody, everything going on. I want it to happen again with me watching it. Yes. <laughs> you can see everybody. I've seen bits on YouTube. I'm desperate to see David Shepherd. I wanted to see him speak. So I'm quite desperate to see him. I'll send you some bar 32 as well. So hopefully they'll be arriving as the evening goes on. I'm the, uh, my name's Joe Duckworth, I'm the Chief Executive of the League Against Cruel Sports and it's my job to try and keep the event going today. Uh, we've got loads of speakers, uh, you've seen some of them, uh, obviously Brian May will be speaking here. Uh, we'll then have a question and answer session and then we're going to judge the best dressed badger. Now I can see only about three badges in the audience at the moment. So uh, if any of you have got your badger costumes uh, in your bag, make sure